Hey everyone, thanks so much for the support on my video recently. I really appreciate it so much. So anyway, I think feeling sorry for yourself and being a victim is one of the worst things that's plaguing society. If you can learn to break free from this victim mentality of, oh poor me, I don't have the newest iPhone, then I think you can be probably rise above a lot of the overly politically correct people and stubborn people in our society. The simple thing to do is to just be happy with what you have. If you can name things that you have on you right now without thinking ab about it, there, that is already a step in the right direction. Right now you're watching this video and that is a privilege. The laptop or, uh, or phone you're watching this on has all kinds of metals that were used to assemble it. Those metals were discovered thousands of years ago through countless trial and error and examination until people eventually succeeded. The, the point is, people work hard in a factory every day in some places assembling phones or laptops like yours and you need to be grateful for it because someone somewhere worked their ass off today to make a product that you have. As a new practice, try to be grateful and always just create more than you consume as a, as a general rule but just try not to not too harsh on yourself with that. When people talk to you and ask you questions, always try to show your best confidence, like your most confidence. Imagine a situation where someone you don't like is saying something about you in front of everyone and they make a fool out of you and you feel so humiliated. If, but just consider this, if you can laugh with them or be confident and cool about it, like they wouldn't get, they wouldn't get anything out of it and you would walk away from that situation without a care in the world. What, what they think, because you're so confident in yourself and you can laugh so fucking loudly with your friends, no one even touches you and, and you can just live without giving a fuck. When people are rude to you or even bully you, it sucks a lot. But if you can learn to stop being a victim and stop feeling sorry for yourself, you can potentially be a much happier person and version of yourself. Never block emotions, just learn to accept them and move on by working on yourself. If you can do something in the morning that makes you feel good about yourself and 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 makes you believe that it would give you like I, I believe that it would give you confidence to be able to go out to the world and face challenges with a smile on your face. Your daily self renewal practice will make you feel good about yourself and therefore confident because your daily practice of going for a run or workout or writing or just doing something that you don't like to do in the morning, getting out of the way, is so good for your mind because. It makes you feel like, wow, I can just accomplish, I can just accomplish that, and I feel so confident in myself. And you know, like you see people achieving these things every day, online, in real life, and so on. But what we often think is that they did something special, and we we can't possibly do do that because we aren't special. But the truth is, and hear me out, you were not special, and no one is. Most people had very similar circumstances to work with when they were your age and all they did to become successful was take all opportunities and be obsessed with whatever they were pursuing. If you want to stop feeling sorry for yourself, just stop. No one can, just stop, like, no one can change you directly, but you can. So if you want to stop feeling, being such a complainer or a victim, just learn to accept hardship, move through it with confidence and come out of it a happier, stronger and having learned something. If you see hardships in life as opportunities, you will never fail to succeed. Thank you so much for watching this video. It seems my uploading schedule is a bit all over the place, but I'll make sure to post more often on the school holidays. That's Australian, if you're wondering. Um, I really appreciate you, and I really appreciate you even more if you could comment, like, or subscribe. So make sure you do all those things to feel more welcome to my channel every, every video. See you next video. See ya!